Hey now. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> What's in good? Effect. What's good? What's I good? Grab something real quick. That's all good. Welcome back to Girl Chat Sports, y'all. It's Mo and Mel here. Just Mo and Mel tonight. That's us. right. Just the I'm two excited. Of us. It's been a minute. I feel like we've had so many great guests the last like month, but then it's like we really didn't get to touch on like some of the sports stuff that was going on and just being right. able to talk about our teams as much. So I'm excited that we get to have an hour of just kind of breaking it down. Um, thanks for tuning in, JC. I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate it. I actually got to see JC at the uh, Vegas Gold Knights game when I went to the game a couple weeks ago. So that was cool. Um, I'm in Seattle. And so I have a new different setup that I've, you know, managed to put together here. As you can tell, two of my cardboard cutouts to remind myself of COVID sports. And one of my best Jordan Chicago Bulls championship posters. It's been in my room since I was probably a teen. So <laughs> then your UW flag, I see. Got the UW flag back there. What's up, Mr. Bill Logan? Thanks Bill for tuning in. Boom, boom. All caps. Yeah, he's um, never no lower caps. Never. He means what he no, says. With He's such always <laughs> with such emphasis. Go ahead, Bill. Be your emphasizer for us. Be that so if you are tuning in right now, feel free to point. share, share the link, let some friends join in. We're having a great discussion today about all kinds of sports. We've got some discussion on sneakers because I'm still a little um, in my feelings about not winning these sneakers of mine this last go round. I think it was what two days ago. But Which you ones? know. The uh the Seahawk colored eight oh the Kalilis or yeah, whatever the, yeah, yeah. Kalilis yeah these ones I'll just show it right now since we're talking about it but we'll get we to might as well go ahead talk about it. I mean these beautiful puppies right here these were the uh AJ, AJ the Jordan one AJ Zooms Williams. Khalifas um by a, a Lely May I guess her name was they're just well first of all you can already tell by the shoe why I wanted it <clears throat> the colors um unfortunately. My access was denied and I did not get them. Even though I set my alarm, 655, got in my app, was ready to go, and it was a no-go. So I feel your pain. I've been there. I didn't get the AJ Force today. I mean, what do you want me to do? Yeah. I mean, everybody, yeah. we're all going for these shoes that I told all my fellow sneakerhead fans that the AJ Force was the last thing I was gonna try to go after, and then I'm giving up. So right, like officially me... I'm giving up. Like if I can't get it, and right now they're on StockX for three hundred fifty dollars. If you want the AJ One Hyper Royals, they are four hundred fifty five dollars. So they keep going up. And then if you want them on the Goat app, because as soon as they sell out, this is what these the secondary apps start popping up, giving me alerts. Oh, we got that shoe now, but it's mm -hmm. gonna cost you. The oh yeah, it's like three hundred fifty dollars to four hundred dollars. <sighs> so not fair. So, so not, not fair, fair at all. And, and I'm the more... bots are winning. So whoever's controlling these bots, I need you to stop it. I need all bots banned. <laughs> I'm watching Joe Biden's address right now, like as we're talking, like it's in the background. And I'm just like, listen, I need him to just call out the bots too for all the seeker hits. Wouldn't that be dope if he got on there and said, for all these Russian bots or wherever the bots are coming from that post on people's pages that like all this stuff, that send you crazy DMs about getting money or whatever, I and mean, taking our sneakers. The sneakers is be done. terrible. It was let terrible. Let that be done. What's good, Nate? What's up, Nate? Good hobbies in the house. Yeah, then we're fly. Um, before we get, you know, really into the game, let's just sit, take a minute to thank our sponsor again for yes. this week. Um, Sabrina Moore from One Hope Wine. One Hope Wine. A little more to sip. Check her out. HTTP. www.onehopewine.com slash my shop slash Sabrina dash more. We appreciate you. Of course, I couldn't really travel with my bottle of wine, but... Thanks to mom and my Seahawks wine glass, as you can tell, I will partake with you in the show today. Okay. Cheers to that. <laughs> and I'm drinking One Hope. And shout out to Cab Sauvignon that I like. Um, oh, yeah. really good. So, yeah, shout out to them. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, we'll get into a little. So, we talked about sneakers. So, I know you were talking about the Jordans, the AJ, the, the Carolina yes, ones. That the came UNC out today. fours. Yes. Ooh, them pretty. Especially that little black underneath there, man. Don't even remind I, me. I don't even want to see the freaking shoe. If I don't have the shoe, I don't even want to see the shoe. I don't even want to see it on people's feet. <laughs> I'm a hater like that. Like, I, I mean, they it. are pretty, but I also didn't have my alarm set for them. So, I was kind of like, well, okay, I missed out. I put I raffles in all over. 
Oh, you had raffles and didn't in hit. too? They had raffles. Yeah, I put raffles in different stores. Uh, I notified on sneakers, woke up this morning, did the same thing you did for your hoo the other day. I mean, bupkis. I, I'm done. I, I give up. I'm done. I'm going to. Well, now you just have to stand by your phone because, you know, sometimes we get those alerts where you'll have like a certain like, you know, re they'll have like a little release of a certain amount. And that's how I got my Jubilees before is because I got like a little notification about a week later. They were they had a few left and I got was able to get them now. Yeah, way, they'll but. do a quick real restock and then it's gone. <sighs> too, so I'm just done chasing the dragon on these sneakers. There's like the you. Citrus Lows coming out. There's actually some pretty dope kicks that are. Actually, not even on the AJ family that are by Nike and some other brands that maybe I can go on that. Well, I don't know with. if you were able to see the dunks coming that are I don't like, like the dunks. Lakers. They look okay. like mids. I saw those. Okay. Girls. I know you and your mm -hmm. mids. No. I like the colorway, but of course, with that whole Nike they had a JJ one that kind of same thing, I can't. I can't they had AJ that. one with that same colorway. That's fine. They had the same. They come out with AJ ones with those same colorways. They come out with the Cortezes with that colorway. They come out with Maxes in the Laker colorway. I'm cool on these dunks. But see, and I'm fine with the colorway because those are my Husky colors. But when they started making that Nike into the whole Lakers kind of thing, I was like, yeah, that's where I cross the line. Well, that's because it's not for you. That's why it's gonna be for us Laker fans. <laughs> I mean, that's the that's the thing. We're not thinking about we're not thinking about no Husky. I mean, I am. I'm thinking about them. You can, but you're not working in Portland at Nike. They definitely. <laughs> Not thinking about no Listen, husky. I am a three-hour drive from Nike, so if anybody is listening right now and wants to throw me, you know, the employee pass for a quick day, I will make a little run down there for both of us. I'm just saying, it's not far. It's not far. I mean, I say just show up and post out with your mask on and be like, "Hey, what's good? <laughs> let me get in. You got time today? <laughs> yeah, let me get in. Let me get in." Um, yeah, so another one. So let's see, we went through the blues. Oh, yeah, so the Travis Scotts. I'm not fond of them. I uh, like them. They're, they're like all right. Sixes that we had out. I don't like this pocket on them. I don't know what it is. I'm not, I don't, I'm is not a fan. Patch? This little, it's like a little pocket or something. I, I know. Does it is it Velcro though? Can it? Like I have no off? idea. I didn't really look onto the thing, but I'm not a fan of like the big Velcro, um, like you know, flaps that are on some of the shoes. And I definitely don't like the extra. I like the colors. I'm just not fa uh, a fan. I like that infrared though. Uh, infrared is always a go. I mean, you really can't I deny do. that. I mean, they look like the other sixes that just came out, honestly. Like, I thought Travis Scott would have done better with this. I liked his uh, Travis Scott ones that he came out the Boca reverse swoosh. It was kind of three-dimensional. Like, uh -huh. something like that. But the sixes are kind of disappointing to me. Just some different. Some different. Some different. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, uh, on the first, which is what? Is that Saturday? Saturday's the first? That was Sunday. Yeah. Saturday's Saturday? the first. Uh, okay. We got no. the, um, the, the 13s. 13s. Yeah, Red Flint. Yeah. Flints. Those I'm not nice. a big 13 person. That's I'm I serious. only like I, I only have one. I got a pair of 13s, like original 13s from when I was like my freshman year of college. These ones, I mean, they're nice, but they remind me of cougars. And if you're a husky, you can't deal with cougar, you know. Colors. Yeah, that's so probably not gonna work good for you. That's a big X. Yeah. On and on list. top of that, too, I stopped at 11 on my AJ series. I don't go past 11. We'll see. I gotta get to twelve because I still want my clock. I gotta get. I want to. That's gonna be a pretty day. big clock, by the way. I'm just well, of course. I you know and one I, day I'll have, I'll have that wall with the clock, and that's fine. But um, yeah, I just gotta get to twelve. That's all. But I'm not a fan of most of the numbers. I just gotta suck her down and get like a clearance of like a seven, eight, <laughs> nine, seven, eight. Well, I gotta get like I still have to have the full clock, so I still oh, have to get right. one. Oh, that's right. So you buy. Well, just buy the low, lowest priced ones. So yeah, that's not gonna I'll matter. Just, yeah. That'll be easy that's to get matters. those already. Yeah, I just yeah. don't want to. That's like a whole other. It's a whole other thing. I mean, um, buy it if it's sellable. That's the thing too. Because once you want to take your clock down, you can sell the joints or something, maybe. Or still wear them, or at least have colorways that I could wear. So yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But anyways, um, so my whole, the whole thing came about is when I saw, we, we had both had seen this um, with PJ Tucker. This man has the sneaker plug of all sneaker plugs. Like he wore, came up, um, and not only these, but he also came up in another pair uh, of uh, these Tim Howard sixes that were only like 30 were only made. He wore those and then he wore these in the last couple games. And even Carmelo was like, Huh? How did you grab these sneakers? Well, so, it was made for a soccer team he's got in Puerto Rico. Right. But the fact that his plug was that intense for him to be able to do that was just incredible. You know what I mean? Like, how do you 
Mellow don't even have those probably anymore. Right. Like, <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. If somebody's watching and is the plug, this is what I need. I need these and an eight and a half women's, please. Well, we I'll, work, I'll even there, take right? a nine. I'll even take a nine. Isn't there, isn't there <laughs> somebody with a page that has a plug in it? I, I don't know. So we might have to go go through that way. That's I just need them. Yeah. I need them. I need them in their beautiful box because the box is blue and green too. So it's a beautiful box as well. But yes, what's up, Goose? Thanks hey, Goose, for checking in. Um, I, I know you got a plug. Someone got to have one. Like just, I just, because here's the deal: they're not overly, overly crazy priced on StockX, but they're like two eighty before all the fees. No, they're so ridiculously priced. We're looking at three something just for let's, them when they were on sale for when they were like sold for one forty. It's just. They're ridiculously priced on StockX <sighs> or Goat or any of those other uh, secondary seeker apps you go on. It's they're all, all expensive. The mm -hmm. necessities. They're all they're all taxi fight flight club taxes. They all tax. You know what I mean? So, so and and you can't afford the shoe surgeon. You can't afford Dom to make you a sneaker. So it's like, what do you do? Yeah, I, you just can't. You just gotta go with it. Shout out to my boy Alex Bliker, a uh, former Nike guy, former Nordstrom guy. Yeah, what's up with Alex? Because it's Browns too. He, yeah, he he um he just made he just worked on a patchwork. If you go on his Instagram, so he's working on a patchwork one that he's doing that he's customizing, and it looks fire. So shout out to mm -hmm. him because. He's doing some creative stuff with his sneakers now. And not only did he have the best collection that I've ever seen next to B Cow and a few other people I know, mm -hmm. he also is now customizing some of his J's. And he just snapped on one on his Instagram story about his patchwork that he's working on. And they look good. I have to oh, say, they look really good. Oh, that sounds so shout out good. to my boy Alex. Yes. Thank you too for my wonderful gift. I wore it last week. I meant to tell him that, but oh, yeah. Right. So cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Yeah. Um, another big hot topic as we get off sneaker game is UFC 261. Did you get a chance to watch any of it by chance? I saw what I needed to see. First of all, big shout out to uh, some major girl power with um, Thug Rose, who oh, yeah. KO'd, who KO'd, I think it's, it's a Zang. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Zang, Zang well, anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, she got her in like within a minute, a minute and like 15 seconds. That was amazing. She put down. But I think wow. what everybody took away from the fight, of course, was not just Usman winning his fight um, and KOing of it was like you know a trio of knockouts. But the Chris Weidman's um, injury that came like within seconds with his fight with um, with Hall, he literally went to do a kick, caught him on like his knee or his shin, and literally shattered his leg, and then fell back on it when he landed, which did even yes. further damage. I mean. Oh, it was so bad. It was so, but they, he actually had posted this, the difference in his x-rays, right? On social media. I just, I, I've never broken, broken a bone. I mean, I, you know, fractured here and there, but that, and then you saw his whole, his leg was like this. I mean, you know, a whole different. I angle. guess so. You see that snap? That it was is, bad. That was bad, snap. Bad, bad. What's up, Les? You were in Vegas. What's up, Les? Uh, he was for, in Vegas, oh yeah? Yeah, he was in Vegas. So good. Uh, thanks for tapping into our city for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of our city. <laughs> so Nevada had like their highest gross month in March since February of 2013. They had a, mil a billion, with a B, million dollar March in casinos. And it's no surprise, I'm sure to you, because you'd be on the strip to work. And I've gone to, on occasion to go pick up somebody or, you know, when Chrissy was here, we went and had dinner down there. It was just like the amount of people that are back on the strip, it's almost it's like never nothing ever changed. Maybe even worse. Like it, it's a lot. It's a lot of people. Yeah, they're out there. So that's March. all I'm saying. They're out there. So I'm, I'm impressed. I never would have thought that we had that in March, but I believe it to be. Yeah. That's yeah, stimmy money. That stimmy money had them coming out. <laughs> and yeah, then you gotta have the, yeah, they have the Now you got the tax refund brawlers coming. That's gonna be interesting Man. too. I'm telling you, this is a bad time to not have no kids because they about to be start giving out them three hundred dollars for every child you got. For I permit. saw that. Like, wait, what? 
I, I wonder if I could claim my Cabbage Patch doll. I wonder if I can claim Suge and Tilly. Because if I could, I mean, Tilly is a whole child herself. So I think I should be able to get something for that. I should do some dog relief and doll yeah. relief. Yeah, they really dolls. should. Come on. That, at least for one. Like, give me one credit, you know? Give me one credit for the two dogs. How about giving us a stimmy for those that didn't have children? The fact that we have to live the life of people telling us or asking us why we don't have children or you don't have any kids or right. any of that kind of stuff. You don't want kids? You can't. Like, yeah, you don't want them? How, this, how about the stimmy for that? How about you stay out my business and cheers to that? Cheers to that, too. Mm -hmm. Ain't no, no time yeah. for all that right now. Well, they can give us a stimulus relief. We celebrate everything for everyone, and they never give us an obligatory. Right. Hey, it's kind of like all the <laughs> happy that you're single. Happy you don't have any kids. Here, take this present. Thanks it's for not burdening our 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 system with any more, you know, kids and whatever. I mean, yeah. yeah here's a pair of Manolos to go stroll in. Live life like here. I mean, for every bridal shower, baby shower, Absolutely. wedding gift, Absolutely. all that. We never, ever, we, we never ask for we that. We don't get a gift. We don't get, get a gift, gift because back? we're single. No, we don't get a gift yeah. because we're single. Like, hey, celebrate. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, can I get something then? Here's a freedom gift for you. Melissa, here's crab legs. Like, here's an all-you-can-eat crab leg. I'm taking you to crab. Okay, perfect. Thank you. That I'll take that. That's a good little present. Shoot. I say that it needs to be the freedom gift. It should okay. be called the freedom gift. Okay. Like the, st the stimulus should be the freedom <laughs> stimulus. Hey, you Les guys are free. Les was out here. It says for four yeah, yeah, days. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 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 Circa yeah. was busy. Circa's I know I had a couple busy, yeah. people that were down there. I saw some of them taking their pictures and um, Circa's a cool spot. We enjoy, you know, a little lounge up there. So it's not bad. Sports book, of course. Oh, I believe that. it was. It was UFC night. Wasn't that the night of the fight? Yeah. Yeah. Saturday. There's going to be packed for that. What's up, Carlos? But, and but make sure free, you get... happy single day. Yes, <laughs> give us a freedom gift. Uh, it should be a freedom stimulus too. Like, hey, you're free. You don't have the accumulated debt of burden of right. kids and a husband and all this stuff. You got to manage and stuff. Here's your freedom. Uh, happy single day. Too. Like happy single day. Enjoy it. Keep enjoying it. Like, Why do they don't have a national single go day? Go travel. They got all these national stuff. days. Dre's been shouting out on his Instagram. Shout out to Dre for every national yes. day that we know of now. Yes. Every day is a national holiday. <laughs> but there's not a national single day. He has yet to post that. Maybe because he's uh -huh. not single, he doesn't care. Maybe there is one. I think we need to search that. Show. We need to like someone needs to be out there. Google National Singles Day because that's what we need to start celebrating. We need to have yes. a whole party here on the show for that day because or National Travel Day, one of the two. I mean, let's get some. They got that. I know they have that. Okay, but I've never yeah. heard one about the singles. Gotcha. So yeah, UFC was a big, a big thing. I watched it here at the house with mom. Even my mom, she, I, she wanted me to rewind it to kind of see the actual leg you know, breakdown. And she was like, oh. God, love mom. Ah, <laughs> oh, Doreen. I know. So I think she's watching the show in the family room while we're on. Okay. So that's cute. I know. Uh, let's see what else we have. Oh, yeah. So as if YouTubers aren't getting into boxing enough, we also have Mayweather. We're fighting Logan Paul in June. Miami's Hard Rock Stadium. So you know it's gonna be a sold out show. It's in Florida. They don't care about COVID or masks. Um, what are you thinking? I mean, does does Mayweather need the money? I mean, that much? Or why does he want to do this? Anyone? I think he likes to stay relevant, possibly. Mm. But I think it's a joke. Like, I'm not paying for this. Why would I pay for something like this? I feel like it's wow. like, you're not even taking the boxing. Like if you were a famous boxer, Back in the day, boxers would not take piddly fights. They would wow. turn their nose up to it, as a matter of fact. They'd probably be very stuck up to the even notion of you mentioning this. <laughs> but we're at an age where everybody feels the need that this is a way to make another come up of money. And okay. Logan, let's be clear, Logan Paul is a boxer. Yeah. And he has fought uh, not many fights. I think he's what? I think he's, he's awesome. got two. Like I think he's one? had two or something. He's got two. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. So your two fights, your amateur card fights, get you to the level of Regine of Floyd Mayweather. After all these other boxers that are trying to pave the way to be Floyd, if not Floyd, to be able to compete against a Floyd who comes out of retirement. 
So does this, retirement if he get if he loses this. if he loses is that on his record or because this is an exhibition it's not going to count on his record? I don't care. You're taking a stupid fight at the I end wouldn't of the mind day. seeing him go down. I'm just saying. I don't think he will. I don't think he will. <laughs> It's not, like he's, it's not like he's, uh, what you call it, uh, my boy, uh, Gator Mouth. It's not like it's that. <laughs> you know, this is, uh, it's kind of like me playing Mike Tyson's punch out. And I know the way and the path of how hard I had to work to get to play to fight Mike Tyson right. in this game. You know, Mr. Sandman was probably my hardest competitor. I couldn't get past this guy to get to Mike Tyson. So you may tell me like everybody else that is trying to come up in the world of boxing, this this is what, okay. It's okay. one of those things, you know. Okay, uh, we do I get. That's what y'all want to do. Okay, <laughs> I'm not watching. I want to know. I'll watch, but I wanted to watch it for free. I'm not paying this pay per view and Showtime. Oh, I'm not, I have Showtime. I'm not, pay, I'm not paying no. Is it gonna be free on right? Showtime? If Showtime tells me it's gonna be free, I'll watch it on my. I Showtime. will send you a link. <laughs> yeah, because that's I'll the only way. Link. That's and the thing how... is, is you spend your money on stuff like this, and the fights last what two minutes? Come on. I hear you. Yeah, you're, I agree, Les. Boxing is starting to remind me of WCW when they're about to go. It's, it's terrible. I don't want to say that about it because I don't want to give up on boxing, but it's bad. And, like, when is it going to end? Like, why are you doing it just to bring attention back to boxing? But really, it's not even bringing no, the attention back to boxing. No, you're bringing stigma on yeah, boxing. It's Be that guy. Be the guy that's undefeated. Be the guy with, with, with uh, what is his record? Like 26 and 0 or something like that? Or 50 mm -hmm. and 0 with 26 knockouts. Be that guy. And say I'm beneath doing something like this. We did but, get some hey, feedback talks. back on National Singles Day. It looks like November oh, you, 11th, um, and Carlos said it as well. He said also there's a 25th National Singles Day 2021. So we'll have to maybe do a little more oh, research yeah. into that. Um, your boy Les has some comments about Anthony Davis reminding him of uh, soft, fluffy pillows at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's AD doing back? It went back with the squad. I, I watched his slow debut night. and he's playing yeah. limited minutes still, I okay. believe. And even with that, he's trying to get into this groove. I mean, you've got another big on that out there, two bigs actually that you play. Right. You have Andre Drummond Andre. and they have Ben McLemore coming off the bench now. So you've got to figure out how that system now works. Now, I, rumor has it LeBron's coming back next week. That's Is the that rumor back? that he's supposed yeah. to come back okay. next week. Okay. Uh, there's talks about him coming back. Um, and I, hey, it's on time. And I think even with AD, the way he's playing and everything, I'm still not worried about our Lakers. Because it, let's be clear, when postseason starts, you got to get through us to go to us be your next opponent. And the way it's set up, if the eighth is playing the ninth seed for two-day games and then they're knocked yeah. out, eliminated, I mean, eh, eh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm really not worried. I'll start worrying in postseason when we lose in a series or something or our first game in a series. Or so where are you guys at right series. now? Are you like fifth or sixth? We're fifth seed right now. Okay. Yeah, okay. we're fifth. So it's not like we're not going to the playoffs. You know, people think, oh, Lakers are done. I think we're just getting started. I think our injuries came and the guys came back, are coming back right on time. Whereas other teams are announcing retirements from their players. Some players are out. So sorry for John Wall. Out again for the rest of the season. I mean, you've got all these little issues. We already know Minnesota's eliminated from the playoffs. We already know the Atlanta Hawks are eliminated from the playoffs. So we, or Houston Rockets, I don't think Atlanta is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all leave AD alone. We know his game. Yeah, we know his game. I mean, he's got to get back into it, but we know how it is. We're waiting for that man to come back. Just no chance. <laughs> We're waiting for that man to come back next week. Rumor has it he comes back next week. That's perfect. Yeah. But I'm not worried. I'm not shook. Let's 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 okay. be clear. Um, before we get into some of the draft stuff coming up and more NBA, I know we had you you talked a little about your guy, uh, Kyle Kuzma, since we are on the topic of the Lakers right now. Uh, some of his fashion, because we know you you are a fashion guru here. And um, I like the what the coos. You know, what the coos, man. Look at I this mean, outfit. Okay, so the one with like the sheer top and like the sweats that are high watering a little bit, kind of flared. I'm not feeling that much. Like, I don't know what that's about. Like, you're seeing through a shirt. I'm not fond of the sweats. I think I, aesthetically, because he is so trim, you've got this whole like contour and then baggy at the bottom type of look. 
Yeah. But doesn't he look very contoured in with that? It's shirt? just, it, it's like and a runway look. look. Like he should be on a it runway. Is very runway. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's perfect. That's why I like the look on the left. Tunnel, I like, like the sangria bag. I like the top open. I like the tropical feel. I like that one. Yeah, I think that was the one they played two days ago. That was him getting okay. off the bus. On you that also one. sent this one with the one on the very far right on the bottom. That one. Oh, and I loved sure that. Yeah. I loved that. Like, was I that, love it all. Was that mirrors on there? What is that on the It's jacket? like if you go zoom in, like there's another pic on his page where it's mm -hmm. all, uh, the, they're holes. They're not even uh -huh. mirrors. Like you can actually put your arm through the holes of the jacket. Oh, wow. The silhouette of it. It is a runway show for Kuzma. Like this is, he he is being a style icon right now. That's your and he's wearing some stuff that, you know. He got dumped on the night though. Yeah, he did. <laughs> hey, you can look good. You got to play good too though. Right. Brother. You got to do a little bit of both. You got to play good too, brother. You got to do play. And he's been playing very well. This has been an off night for my guy, but I love his style for a young guy with the, with the means to do it. And whoever his stylist mm -hmm. is, is kind of oh, opening him up to some things. Shout out to LeBron though, having the $105 hoodie from freaking Mason. Oh, yeah. I saw you from post Alan that. And Leah. That was pretty dope. That was nice. I mean, hey, your stylist found a, a thing for him that works. I mean, mm -hmm. it, especially if it was ready to wear from Macy's. Like, I don't even understand how that works for LeBron. Like, how does he get, does even, does even go to Macy's? Like, who went to I, Macy's I think his stylist did it, but it's the fact that he found it on a, he or she found it on a rack. <gasps> like, how do you find stuff for players? That's six nine. Like, yeah. Ready to wear jackets and stuff on a rack. Like, I don't understand. Is that like a, a double, triple X? Like, I wouldn't even know. I need another size because for bases to have that, it's like. What's good, Jose? It's crazy. What's up, Jose? Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, it was dope too. So I just like Kuz's looks. They're very interesting. Every time he comes in through the tunnel, it's always a new thing. It's like a runway show for him. So yeah. What's up, KT? What's up, KT? I'm into it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, so that was a little bit of hot topics. So in some NFL news, uh, Teddy Bridgewater didn't stay too long in the Panthers uniform. No, he, didn't. he is now off to Denver, um, which was breaking news today. And Denver still looking for a quarterback too. So they could use like their first round pick from their quarterback. It's still up in the air because Teddy's good, but is he? Uh, I could see him as a starting quarterback for you. I mean, I if they, I mean, I could see him as a starter, but I don't think that's where they want to end up. Is like a he's not going to be their franchise quarterback. I would be curious to say otherwise. I think he will be. You know what I mean? I don't think so. I mean, it, you know, I'm looking at the draft pool, and I don't think they're going to draft a decent quarterback. Looking at how they're well, they'll need to get him some them. weapons. They'll need to get the team period some weapons. Absolutely, and I think that if they start with Teddy, and then they get they draft weapons, they draft somebody on their defensive side and offensive side, they could probably be okay. Yeah, I think they'll be okay. AFC West, they need to do something. They need to make something happen. They need to make some kind of moves because otherwise they're going to fall behind. You know, you've already got Burroughs going off in um, L.A. And then you got Pat Mahomes, you got Derek Carr. They need something in that uh, AFC West. We need another contender, possibly, and something that could give other team teams a run for their money. I'm saying Denver's not going to do it, but I'm just saying, like you know, I could see him being a franchise yeah, quarterback. That'd be a know. good coup for them. They need to, to get give that. Elway needs to get that Denver team uh, back on some kind of map because yeah. So here's what I was surprised at. So Antonio Brown back with the Bucks, one year deal. The Bucks have signed all 22 players, starters that they had last year into this year. So they haven't lost anybody, maybe changed. I mean, they literally had the same team. Well, I knew that was going to happen. Like, who would get rid of those players? Who would get rid of them? I, I mean, the fact that, but what's crazy is that out of all those players, nobody had the super ego of, I got to go get paid. Uh, heck no, they're playing with Tom Brady. Are you kidding me? It's like saying I want to play with LeBron. I mean, but that's the same thing is that this happens every year to teams. There's always a guy that's greedy for the money. Not those guys. You got to understand, they're coming from a franchise they won a Super Bowl and since 2002 when they beat us. I'm for it. I wish, so, I wish it could happen. I knew they teams. were going to stay. That was but, not no surprise. God. It was what they threw the money at AB that I was surprised by. He's I was surprised AB went back. I mean, I thought he had a couple offers elsewhere, but hey, I guess if you want to get in their ring. That's what you got to do. That's, that's what you got to do. Stay yeah, with like Brady. Six it's million Brady. or something? Over six million. You want million, rings or you want to just, you know? I want rings. Well, I guess exactly. for Brady, it don't matter because he got money. So him not taking a pay cut or anything, that's not a big deal. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. But no, I wasn't surprised by that by far. 
so the other news, we you know we've got the draft coming up. The draft is going to be live. It is going to be in person. It's from Cleveland. It starts tomorrow. I'm excited, although usually first round I'm amped up. I'm going to be amped up for probably like the first like five to ten picks. But, you know, the Seahawks don't even draft to the second round. So I can't even really be like stuck at the TV like I usually am. Same with the Raiders. Yeah. yeah. The second round. Yeah. Well, no, you guys have a – I thought you guys had a first-round pick. Do we have a first round? Maybe we do. I think so. I think you guys have the – seven. well, you had the 17th overall. I'm not sure why. Oh, uh, yeah, we do. You're right. Yeah. yeah You're yeah. right. But uh, what I couldn't believe is that, you know, we all know there's this big debate on who the Niners are going to pick for qu their quarterback. They traded up to get the third pick. Um, but Kyle Shanahan had mentioned that he couldn't basically – he couldn't guarantee who would be on the roster come Sunday. When asked about Jimmy G. So yeah, they, the rumors he's gone. But wouldn't you still need a quarterback though, besides just whoever you draft? Like a backup? backup? I, I mean, I guess Jimmy don't want to play backup, but if Jimmy's not gonna get another starting job somewhere. I mean, I don't You don't see him getting a starting job somewhere? I mean You don't? I mean, I guess he could I mean, if he goes back to the Patriots, but the Patriots are still got Cam and they're looking to get another quarterback. Okay, you may have answered your own question of where he's going. Yeah, I don't know if he'll go. I mean, there's talk of that too. Yeah, shout out to Kwan. He obviously loves. Um, I know because she's vain like, like that. that. She's very vain, but I love yeah, it. I listen, I'm it's not home. about narcissism. It's it not. might be, but I I'm mean, back she's very home. Vain. I haven't seen these two pieces pictures of myself in a while, so I was like, hey, let's throw it in the background. Like, why not? I mean, you hello? know, but you can't talk like that, Kwan, and expect mangoes for somebody either, too. I mean, mangoes with nothing in back. I get, these are the comments I get in return for bringing mangoes with nothing attached to them. Like, I mean, come on. How rude. Very rude. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like yeah, what's up, Taquan? We love uh, Girl Across. We love our guys over there. Yeah, and girls. And ladies yeah, that are out ladies. there, of course. Yes. Small and D over there. Quan's always at a mangoes. Well, I'm out of town. How about that? <laughs> She can she can ship, she can ship you the mangoes, Quan. <laughs> or not. I'll just start delivering them one by one. I'll have like someone mail you like five pieces at a time. Oh, oh here wow. he goes. <laughs> a level of petty. <laughs> it's too much. I can't. I can't. I can't. What I couldn't believe so far is that the Seattle Seahawks have reset. No, we're in a very limited cap space. We have like a yeah. We have three draft picks, and we re-signed Geno Smith. First of all, y'all gave Russell Wilson way too much money. Way too much money. But why do we need Geno Smith? he's not even trying to negotiate his contract to get better players to stay on yeah, a team he low-key doesn't want to be on. Whole other issue. Whole other issue. Y'all got problems. I don't even know what to say with y'all. I don't <sighs> even know what to do with y'all. It's going to be another stressful season is what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say to you guys. It'll be stressful mainly because now we're going against the Arizona team that's getting stacked. Yes. A possible Niners team is going to have, you know, a new weapon. As Probably the first quarterback. round quarterback. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, my gosh. I just, but why, Gino, the, the man literally played a few minutes all of last season. Like, what do we need him for? We haven't tested him out. God forbid if something happens to Russell, he goes down. We're not putting this team dependent on Geno Smith. Geno Smith. What's the year you guys think you'll get a Super Bowl in? <sighs> and how old do you think you'll be when you see it? Um, I think next year is going to be the boiling down year to see who all leaves and who's all coming back. Because we could be losing a coach next year. We could lose a quarterback next year. We could, you know, it's undecisive. But as long as we keep staying this 10 and 6, or I guess now we have, what, 17 games this, this year? You know, as long as we keep staying in the middle of the ground, we're not going to have great picks. And <laughs> the Seahawks, you know, Pete Carroll made a joke today about, Jamal Adams is their first pick of the draft this year because technically he that's where one of our first round picks went was to, to get Jamal Adams last year, along with a first round pick for next year, all for Jamal Adams. So my thing is, is Jamal Adams can just stay healthy for the entire season. I just wonder when you go to see the Super Bowl again. When is your team? I asked this question. I'm waiting for the answer. How old do you think you will be when this team receives the Super Bowl? Because I know how old I'll be. When the Raiders receive the Super Bowl. Oh yeah, oh, I, I I would say I, I, I would say like five six. I would say like before fifty. I'm I'm forty two now. I'll say before fifty, we'll be back in the Super Bowl. Okay, that's eight years for you. 
for me, it'll be, what is it, four years? So I, I'd love to see it within the four years, but I doubt it. It'll probably take us another five, six I years. Think it, you know, I think we can surprise some people. This season is not going to be terrible. And no, the Niners not. are not going to win the division, first of all. I think the Rams probably will. No, I think it could be the Cardinals. Yeah, the Cardinals look good too. Or it could be the Seahawks. I don't I think it's going to be the NFC West is the hottest division right it now. It is, and period. it's the hardest one. And that's going to be the hardest. So whatever yeah. comes out, I think the NFC champ will come out of there. I think that's just where it's at. But, you know. Yeah. I'm glad we're we're giving Bill some some reasons to laugh and cry at the same time. <laughs> Where are your cowboys gonna be, Bill? Right, where are the cowboys gonna be? Lock them where are the cowboys. We They'll know Jim, be number one. We They'll know be number one in that division with five wins <laughs> and twelve losses in that division. You, you know, Jerry, Jerry's not giving up. Jerry's not giving up no kind of extra mm -hmm. money or nothing for to, to get a higher draft pick. He's just like, well, hey, it is what it is. You know, they're gonna I bet can't. on Dak. They're gonna roll with Dak. Well, good luck to that. I don't know. We'll see. If it, we'll see if Dak becomes the next um, plastic quarterback. I he's don't know. Next, uh, he's on his way to be in something. But they can go five and twelve in their division. Still gonna make the playoffs. It's some crazy. Oh, make a wild NFC card. East is so terrible. I just it's trash. Trash. Um, speaking of some more trash, the Falcons who are sticking behind Maddie. Good old Maddie have decided to start taking calls to trade for Julio Jones. Really? And not Matt Ryan, huh? Okay. My thing is, I, I, I wish Julio the best. I hope he can find a home where he can actually do well because Atlanta has not been it. Oh, it hasn't. But where will he go? <sighs> Someone that can pay him because he's going to want money. A lot of money. I don't know. Bill said he's and he'll be there for every game. Well, I I'm, guess so. The tickets better be cheap too. Have you seen the ticket holder, Bill? You probably can look into the season ticket holder thing. See how much it is. Because those charger ones are very cheap. You can be a ticket season ticket holder for chargers for three hundred dollars, you guys. Wow. Seriously. In SoFi the Chargers, Stadium. I mean in SoFi yeah. Stadium. Heather ready. I want to see. I want to see what that stadium looks like once they get everything built around it. It's supposed to be like a whole kind of like city center type situation. Oh, it's it's gonna be nice. It, it's already pretty stellar. It's pretty pretty nice. Shout out to everybody that's got on the Raiders tour too. Yes, a lot of people have been May, going out hopefully. there. I've yeah. had to check a few people that I've seen post pictures. I'm like, wait a minute. I know you're not wearing a Raider gear because one of my friends uh, is a Seahawks fan, and she was like, nope. Just had black on, which I would do too. I would respectfully wear, like you know, some the black. Yeah. But you ain't gonna see me in some Raiders gear at the at the stadium. But I, I would love to go on the tour. The tour looks. I don't think beautiful. we want to see you in any Raiders gear. To be quite honest with you, and you probably don't. I and mean, this might be the closest you get. It's like you know, gray and black right here. This is probably yeah. what I wear. Yeah, <laughs> that works. <laughs> that works too. Uh, Bill Logan's getting a little defensive. His division is not trash. We are royalty. The most Super Bowl wins. I get it. I get it. We're talking about 1982 now. Yeah, we're Here talking we about the 80s and 90s Here again. We go. Let me hop back in the DeLorean. Come get back, back into this century and come on we'll back. work with it. I understand. They yeah. love Doc Brown is already trying to get me to come back to where we're at. So <laughs> I'm not going to go back there the where you're talking, Bill. I'm right here. <laughs> So, CX got three picks tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if one of those picks gets traded down so we get, like, two or three more picks. I mean, that's just what the Seahawks are good for. I hope that we can keep the second-round pick, hopefully get some kind of offensive tackle, because apparently, which I didn't realize how I was doing a little research, there's a little bit of a deeper position in this year's draft is the offensive mm -hmm. line, offensive tackle. So, that's good for us, because we do need that. Um, and then there's a couple extra, you know, we got two other spots in the fourth and the seventh round, which, you know, Pete Carroll and John are good for finding somebody in the late rounds. So mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Uh, you guys got eight picks though. The Raiders we got sure do. Picks. And we better pick smart. They better pick smart. I haven't even looked at the draft class to see who we could actually go after based off of our picks. But, but you guys need offensive line just as bad as we do. Like you guys, I mean, our line is yours. probably better than our is better than what we need more defensively. We need more defensive players to me than we do offensively because we're pretty tight when it comes to that. It's our defense that's the struggle. You know, we've acquired some great players to be uh, wide receivers, running backs, and everything else, and even a new center. I think we just promoted up 
Um, so I sh- get defensive players. That's what I want to see. You guys and, even have and Mariota stay, and you got Mariota stay. So I mean, he likes Vegas. It's like the eighth island, right? You know, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened with that. I really need to get to the bottom of what happened to Mariota. Why he? What's up, go. Big Lex? Thanks for hey, joining. Hey, Lex, in. how you doing? Yeah, I want to uh, know what happened with that for real. But yeah, if anything, we can draft. We could draft smart like we did the first draft, and because we have Mike Mayock as a GM, possibly that will be. Uh, some good options. Once the draft starts and I see who we pick, I'm going to be looking them up to see like, oh, okay, let's right. make sure that that's what we need because man, uh, we have the potential. We really At do. least you got picks. I mean, that's, that's hey. so helpful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it is, but they need to Lex, pick smart and they need to pick right. Right. Lexus yeah. Cowboys are going corner, corner for sure. Yeah, we probably need a cornerback too. Well, there's the one corner that's supposed to be dropping now in the in the draft because of back surgeries. I think it's the same one that has COVID and can't attend the draft yeah. this year. So there's been some people that have been kind of like falling and and higher up in ranks. But I mean, it really just depends on your on your drafting team and you know the extensive work that you're putting into knowing because. Like I had put down, there's so many people that you don't realize were so low in the draft. And like Travis Kelsey, he was a third rounder. George Kittle's a fifth rounder. Joe yeah, Montana like it doesn't, was it a third round anymore. It Wilson, really third round. Uh, Cam Chancellor was a fifth round. Mm-hmm. Your boy, your guy, Trent Bright, you guys got rid of seventh round. Yeah. I mean, these are all, you know, just depends on. It doesn't on- matter anymore with these first rounds. I mean, yes, the first couple of players, you want to see where Trevor Lawrence is going to land yeah. and stuff. But the thing of it is, is after it goes after that, it's just all like down, not downhill, but it's it kind of matters not. It's skill or on skill. I'm, I'm more so into the, is it going to be Mac Jones, Justin Fields, Trey Lance? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. That little threesome of guys is kind of like where all the gray area is. And I'm curious to know like just how those guys are going to be laying out. And who doesn't pick a quarterback? Because the quarterbacks seem to be what everybody's talking about. But there's right. a couple spots for people uh, to fill in in between in those first, you know, top ten picks. So yeah, true that. It will be interesting. Um, and the Washington football team has, uh, or I'm sorry, my Washington Huskies. We got, I got. There's three guys. It's funny because this season was a wash. Like, I think we only played like four or five games. Uh-huh. Well, three of these guys are in the top 65 prospects for the draft. So I'm excited to kind of watch and see where those guys fall. Oh, um, wow. That's going to be like the first, you know, first couple rounds. So I'm excited for that. I can't. Yes, Bill, there are definitely gems in later rounds. So hopefully everybody's team, minus yours, is able to do that. <laughs> That was shade. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's a little bit of shade. No, I mean, I'm just saying that was shade. <laughs> if no one recognized what shade sounds like, that was shade. That was it. I'm, you know, <laughs> it happens once in a while. Uh, because of, and the Falcons are still it. trying to get rid of their fourth pick too, but they're not really finding the, I guess, the deal they want. So the fourth pick is still out there for someone to go. I know the Patriots, you know, have looked into it and something. Patriots haven't drafted a quarterback since Drew Bledsoe. No, they haven't. That's like that's why I think three decades happening ago. with the Jimmy Garoppolo thing. Yeah, that's wild. I. That's why I feel like something is definitely going to go that way. And, and, gonna... and is Aaron Rodgers going to be a full time Jeopardy host now, or is he going to? You know, because I mean, he's got for... he's got a fiance. He's doing Jeopardy. Like, why even go back to football at this point? You're only going to get hurt. <laughs> I'm sure people are praying for him to be permanent host of Jeopardy. But here's the thing to catch with that. Jeopardy films their whole season in 30 days. So you basically oh, really? film for a month. I know that. And they usually do like three episodes a day. So you're, it's basically like a daytime soap opera. You're there mm-hmm. showing up for episode after episode. But so he's ready for the season, y'all. That He can do both. He's already pre-taped. He's ready, ready to go. If he, gets Je- if he gets the Jeopardy gig. And they'll be ready for the for football season. So he ain't going nowhere. Packers oh, wouldn't even let it happen if they could. They wouldn't. They no. can't. I don't mm-hmm. know. Um, so I'm excited. It's going to be football time. I'm a little sad that I'm not home to watch the draft from the comforts of my home and with the, you know, just to well, be you there. your mom and I mean, yeah, you know, mom, but, you know, she, she had me watching some dog show hairstyling show the other night and i was like what am oh, i watching the one hairstyling competition it's show. like pooch perfect pit yeah, like yeah, yeah yeah 
I had to walk out. I was like, I'll be in my room. I'll be in the room. I can't even, we know Netflix something. Why are we watching what? this? What's the, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the whole gist of that? Like, are like they, getting, they, are they was the, poodles getting? No, it was, it was like different kinds of dogs. Um, the theme was Disney. So they had to recreate a Disney theme on the dog by like dyeing their hair, cutting oh. patches. It was too much for me. So that's terrible coming from a dog mom. So I know, but I couldn't do it. But I would want my my dog's hair dyed and colored and looking like a. Well, you don't Disney have that type movie. of. You don't have that like, type of dog, though. I would only do that with the toy dogs, like with the little poodles, right? I don't like those. I don't the like little those. Yorkies, I like little, something like that. No, these were like full big dogs, which is different. I don't know. Anyways, oh, that's interesting. I couldn't handle it. So well, yeah, show for everything. I don't, I don't know if my mom can actually sit through the draft like I can. So, but at least I got my I got another TV here in the house. You know, I can make sure I watch it. So. Or you can stream it off of your pad or something. No. Oh yeah, I, I stream it on my Fire Stick too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, perfect. All the perks still of you know. Oh yeah, TV you'll be good. Yes, two plus, but you'll yeah. be Gucci then. Yeah, I'll be good. Uh, but tonight, I don't know the score right now, but our Golden Knights are playing, and That's they. Right. Have had nine straight wins. Nine. I know. Shout out to the Knights. Oh, man. So they clinched the playoffs. So we're, I mean, we've already seen people like in the VGK ladies group posting their, you know, uh, Golden Knights playoff shorts for 2021, Stanley Cup playoffs. So they're, it's, it's all for the action. So they've won nine. They are in second place in the NHL. And tonight they're actually playing the Colorado Avalanche for the Western Division. So the winner tonight will now be officially number one in the Western Division. They and better come bring a Stanley Cup home to Vegas. Like I'm sick of this. I don't I want us to get to the big dance. Like I'm all good for where we're at and standings and stuff, but it means nothing to me if we're not winning a Stanley Cup this year. That's what yeah. I meant. My thing is between and the them score right now and is the aces, one one. Between them and the Aces, we got to have a championship this summer. Like, we, someone is bringing real, it home. For real. Somebody's got to bring something home. And it's right now the second period. It just started, so it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, okay. It's going to be a close game. Plus, we yes. play them one more time, like, May 15th, which will pretty much be probably towards the end of the season when we have to figure out who is first in the Western Division. Mm. So. Keep an eye on that. It's going to be interesting. But we're getting down to the wire with them, just like with NBA. It's down to the wire. We're getting close to playoffs. It's going to be that playoff push. It's the first, you know, COVID-free-ish, I guess, or at least bubble-free season. So, whew, I'm excited. I just want to see us win. We got to. For the city. For the city and for the draw. Let's just bring that Stanley Cup to Vegas. I'm putting it out there. Let's get both. Let's get the WNBA championship and the Stanley Cup. I want Cup. that too. I want both of them. Yeah. I just want to be there to see it for, for the WNBA as much as the Knights as well. But I yeah. just like, they need to bring something to the city. Both of them. Have oh. a responsibility in 2021. Thanks, yes, they're on now. The Golden Knights yeah. are on now. So. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Thanks. I'll come check them out when I'm done. <laughs> um, but speaking of the Aces... So, of course, we kind of flew past the WNBA draft. We didn't have much of a discussion about that. The Las Vegas Aces, they have a new name for the arena this year. It's the Michelob Ultra Arena. Oh, So, okay. new name. Who dis? Um, we also got new teammates. Um, we got uh, this girl, Kate Kane, who's in their center. So, that's good because we've been kind of struggling. With, you know, I know um, Jisoo Park does tremendous out there in Korea when she goes for, this, for, um, for the season out there. But I know that, you know, we've had struggles between her, Liz Cambage, like getting like, you know, having constant centers. And we don't have Carolyn Swords no more. I think we finally get to keep her in the office <laughs> or in the back office now. But um, they've got Kate Kane as a rookie. Lauren Manis, Destiny uh, Slocum, who was really good, and uh, Shakela Thomas, and then Rakina Williams. So okay. I'm excited. They waived one of the girls they had drafted, unfortunately. They yeah, waived uh, Mela, Milo, who was yeah. the only person from Towson University ever drafted into the league. So that was kind of interesting. But I'm sure she'll get picked up by somebody. She but will. that goes back to the thing about having to compete because with the WNBA only having X amount of teams, they don't have many spots. They don't have the spot no. to go. Which it's is gonna tough. be a long time coming before we get expansions on that too. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be tough. And you know, hopefully. Um, but so but you never know. You never know. Mm -hmm. you never know. Something could come no. out for her. 
One thing though is that the uh, the Aces actually have a scrimmage. It's going to be this Saturday. It's not open to fans or media, but they have a scrimmage this Saturday at home with the Sparks here in La or there in Las Vegas on Sunday. Then they actually have an official preseason game the following Saturday on the eighth in LA against the Sparks. Mm, Our first okay. game is actually here in Seattle on the fifteenth. So I'm bummed I won't be here for that. But then we have the home opener in Las Vegas. Friday the 21st against the Sparks. So yes. that game here in Seattle is going to be a rematch of the finals from last year. Be good. Let's see how it goes. Because, you know, also our girl, um, our, our girl's playing for Seattle now. Um, Who are you talking Ty, about? Ty Young. Ty Young. Ty Young. That's right. She is. She's with the Seattle yeah. uh, store. Seattle store. I saw mm -hmm. that announcement a while back. Yep, yep, yep. She sure uh, is. Huh? So an NBA, so real quick, because I know, you know, your Lakers will still be in it, of course. Uh, Steph Curry was on fire for April, of course. He passed James Harden for the th most threes in a calendar month. He had 83. He also yeah. did another <laughs> record, too. What's that? I'm trying to look it up. He did, he did um, something in the most league, something that and only he's ever done in the NBA. Probably most points. Most threes or something like that. I think <laughs> well, that was... Uh, Maybe that was just a franchise record. Oh, yeah. Um, the Knicks. Can we talk about the Knicks, though? Because the Knicks these guys, tips. I don't know who lit tips. a fire under their butts, but you got tips. Julius Randle as well. I mean, nine straight oh, games. It came to an end on Monday because of uh, CP3 and the Suns. But it, someone had brought it up, like, is this going to make the New York Knicks kind of like a franchise destination again? Are they going to be able to go into the offseason and just start collecting some of the names that maybe are all trying to get out of their respective homes to come play for them? Because now they're doing good. Maybe people want to, you know, people want to be playing for them. We'll, we'll see what happens postseason and where they go. This has been by far been the best record they've had in probably five seasons. I think it's been a long calm. time. It's been a very long time. And I need everybody to calm down. Thibodeau's is doing work over there. D Rose is doing his thing. Yes. Shout out to Julius Randle, former Laker. We knew he could ball. He's scrapping too. They got a whole bunch of young Tito's on the team that they can develop. That's doing very, very well. And again, we don't know what is going to happen come postseason. Let's see how y'all do when it really counts and when it really matters. But I, it's a shocking record. I didn't see it coming with them. Um, shout out to MSG and, and Knicks trying to do their thing. But well, and then the Wizards right behind them, like they both have been on these I mean, crazy. That was a Westbrook and Bradley Bill. That, yeah, uh, but they weren't doing it together up. before. I mean, it's like they. I mean, they. I mean, the they're it's all coming up. Push. I get it. You know, it is a playoff push. It is, and, yes. and that's the thing. And you're gonna have to see exactly. What they just, that looks they just like. pushing my bulls out of that 10th spot that I need them in. <laughs> well, your bulls, you guys didn't get anything in that trade whatsoever. So, yeah. and then, you know. But hey, the, the, on the plus exactly side for my bulls, leave. we've been able to win like three out and of Y'all lost to the Knicks tonight. Games. You didn't tell me y'all lost tonight to them. We just, I, I didn't even see the score. Yeah, we 113 to 94. Yeah, but we had won like three. But here's the deal Zach Levine is still out. He's been on COVID protocol for like, all, this is his second week today. So to have even been one, out. To have even won three of the six or seven last six or seven games, Plus you I'm started Kobe okay White again too to kind of take his place. So that kind of helps him. They didn't give him some because he was you coming still out. Got, he was coming still out got Kobe too. White. Well, yeah, you do because he was on your bench and he wasn't doing. No, Jack. I'm saying, do you still have Kobe? Oh no, White? I traded him. him. I've been oh. trading him. I, honey, I got Josh Jackson for Detroit Pistons. He started starting again. It was well, our, 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 your friend Mo would like to get have you give us a recap of your fantasy football, fantasy yeah, basketball that season. Yeah, that you that it, that that go? As you as a commissioner that you want to start the playoffs now. I thought I still had a few more weeks to get it. Um, my very my fantasy season was very educational on many factors. One, I listened to the wrong people. I'm drafting players <laughs> when it, when I already had my players drafted and who I could trade and add from waivers. Number two, um, I don't need to have so many point guards on my team like I did this previous season. I probably need to go more for bigs next season. And three, I know that getting some of these younger Tito's that are up and coming might be okay if they start. 
Okay. And I have my eye on a few players that I'm going gunning for for next season that I definitely, hopefully, I get a high pick in the draft for next season and can play. Because I let's be clear, I almost made the playoffs with this league. Almost. I lost the previous week. I came so close, and I freaking had Kobe White still sitting on my team, and I traded him too late. And I should have kept Jeff Green from Brooklyn because he started balling out. I was listening to people on this same fantasy team that, quote, unquote, were trying to help me and tell me, oh, no, you need to get rid of Jeff Green. Oh, no, you definitely need to diss Kobe White. You need to do this and that. So I do all these changes, and I end up losing last week. So I listen to my own self, cut off who I need to cut off, put Josh Jackson on my team and I end up winning by three points this week. So instead of ending out of a league of 14, I was at 10 place this whole time. I could have okay. been eight to make the playoffs, but I ended up at nine. So my record was eight and nine for the, for the fantasy league season. Wow. Not bad. But I'll do it again. I mean, I'll do it again. Yeah. You're definitely do better than me. I just, yeah, that's a whole other it is. I'll do it again, but now I know that I can go on the waiver wire, wire do different yes. things and trade off players yes. and stuff yes. Yeah, for the next day and stuff and set my rosters early. That's the plus that I do like about the fantasy thing. So thank you, Mo. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you, Can Do, for knocking me off. Thank you for uh, EM's excellent team because I think that's who I played and beat, and he was the number two person in the league. So I beat him this past week. So yeah. mm. by three points, too. <laughs> But I still didn't pick the playoffs. But it's okay. <laughs> it's quite okay. But Mo, I'll do it again for you. But I don't need your – listen, give me good sound advice, but don't give me that bad advice you and Nelson were giving me. Uh-oh, you was getting bad advice. How you going to get bad advice from guys that have been playing? for? They're trying to set you up for They It was sabotage. I low-key feel like I was sabotage. Mo said Mo, – Mo would give me – Phoenix Mo was giving me some good tips at times. But then Nelson would chime in and see, they would have me on a group text and back and forth. They're like, no, you need to do this. You got to do that. No, you got to do this. You got to do that. Mo is blaming Nelson. Yes. <laughs> I'm blaming you too, Mo. Because, Mo, you told me to get rid of Jeff Green. And somebody at Can Do ended up picking up Jeff Green. And where's Can Do now? He's in the playoffs. I could have kept Jeff Green. <laughs> that was the worst piece of advice you gave me was to get rid of Jeff Green. And then he started balling. Of course. They was trying to go. Bevy, one of them picked him up. <laughs> no, Can Do picked him up. That wasn't either one of them. It was Can Do who picked him up, and I ended up losing to Can Do last week. Oh dang, that's all bad. Should um, get what I had. So there was a little bit of news about your 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 guys over at Southern University that they were yes. looking into hiring Marshall Paul for the head coaching job. Yeah, that from not Louisiana. I sense. mean, that's a great, I mean, that'd be a that'd great, be a nice a great look. Shout out to my Southern University for being Grandma State University just a few weeks ago in the Bayou Classic. We hosted ah, the Bayou Classic, not in November so this year. So crazy to have Bayou we Classic in, right now. We hosted wow. in April, baby. And we won, baby. So big yes. up to my Jags. Yes. That. And yeah, that would be a good look for uh, Marshall Falk to come back home. Uh, he's from the state of Louisiana. That would be I forget cool. forget what part of Louisiana he's from, but I read that in our Southern thing. And I was like, that'd be dope. You know, well, then, you know, more player. exposure as well. Hopefully getting some other people that gift, you know, get picked I mean, up. Eddie into... George is on an HBCU team. You've got yeah. Deion Sanders Deion on an Sanders. HBCU team. Yes. So it does give a more highlight and it'd be better to do a draw. But, you know, I think NCAA needs to look at us anyway. I think we need to be considered in that. That's for a whole sure. other discussion. But I think we need to be in that anyway. But oh, for the SWAC, good. it's a good look. Yeah. Let's go. If Marshall Falk comes, that, that'd be dope. Make it happen. I'd respect it. Yeah, so we can be a winning team again. Got a little girl. Because we were only 4 1 last season. Oh. That's yeah. Seven. That's it. That's it? Because the season got cut, you know, because of COVID. And oh, stuff. that's right. That's why they're playing right now in the spring. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, little girl power that I just came aware of. We got five full time female referees in the, NW, in the, in the NBA. Pardon me. Okay. Um, the first one was actually back in 1997, Violet Palmer, who was then joined by G D Cantner. But this year, we've got five full-time referees. Um, there's now 24 of the 57 um, G League refs are females. Oh, nice. And 15 of the 33 WNBA refs are females. Nice. And this is a far cry from literally when it was just the two back in 1997 all the way. I think one just retired in like 2016. So... 
Um, big girl power shout outs to those women in the w, in the in the NBA, the WNBA, the G League. I mean, that's just amazing. But to have five women now in the NBA, full time status, like they're not going back and forth between G League or wherever else. They're strictly just for the NBA. So um, shout out yeah. to Nicole Lynn too. I wanted to shout her out. Super duper agent super just signed with Clutch Sports. And not only did she sign with Clutch, her position with Clutch Sports in the football division is going to be incredible. To yeah. be this only woman in Clutch Arena with these guys, and she's like VP of the football um, sector of it. President of football operations. New president of football operations at Clutch Sports. Shout out Agent Nicole Lynn. Gotta reach out. Maybe she has like an extra minute. Like, extra minute. Real. Probably draft time's bad for her, but I mean, oh, you know. absolutely. She's on pins and needles with her players, but shout yeah, out to her. I can't her. turn the summertime or something, you know. Shout out to her. Start. Yeah, most getting that cool of being on clutch, you know. That's, that's major. That's it major. is major. She's about to be a major player. She already was. She like, already been a major player. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, for sure. This is really major though. When you sign with clutch, you know what that means. That's a big time. And you'll get your players paid. And your uh, president of football operations, no limit to where that could go. Just shattering the ceiling. Big yeah. ups to her. Big ups to Le uh, LeBron and Rich Paul for having her uh, under consideration. And for changing the game. They changed, changed the, the game. game on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So girl power uh, to that. And, and of course, a girl power and a shout out to our sponsor for this week and for this month has been Cyberina, Cyberina Moore, One Hope Wine. OneHopeWine.com slash my shop slash Siberina dash more. It's S I B E R I N A dash M O O R E. A little more to shop. Oh, hey. I've been drinking know. a lot. I've been drinking a lot of hope then. Yeah. <laughs> we got more hope to go. <laughs> more, one more week of hope to go. <laughs> we got to we gotta research this singles day and. Uh, Get us a little party started. Hey, it ain't even about the party at this point. I shouldn't have to throw a party on myself celebrating my single. You know it's National Single Day. Where the gifts at? Thank you. Put the cash app up. You know it's National Single Day. I should not have to throw a party for this. Where the gifts at? I mean, come on. It's that simple. It but is. as always, you guys, it's Wednesday. We enjoyed you. I'll be back in Vegas for next week's show. Um, but it's been fun. Enjoy the hot weather. I heard it's supposed to be like 97 this week, and I'm going to cool out in these 60s and enjoy We've it. been cool this whole week and windy. Really? It's been 70 degrees today, 80 tomorrow. So we've been having some winds, a little bit of rain yesterday. Okay. And the weather has been very chill, and it's been very chilly at night. We've been having to wear our really? jackets and coats. Yes. Well, I'm good here. I'm trying to just soak up the last little 60 degrees and just chill out. I got some sports have to coming do. this weekend. I got... Husky spring game. I got Mariners game. So I'm trying you to got games. I got games. Listen. So I'm excited to be back home to catch some live sports, um, get a few freebies at the Mariners game, and then get back home and, and catch all of you. So anyway, yeah, thanks to everybody too. Thanks in. everybody for tuning in. We appreciate it. If you're watching it on the replay, feel free to share it still. Give it to some friends. Tell them to check us out. Get on our YouTube, girlchatsports.com. Right. Give us a Definitely follow and get on the subscribe. YouTube. And we appreciate you. We'll catch y'all sometime. Well, same time next week. Yes. One hope. Shout out to our one hope, man. <laughs> yeah. Keep hope alive. Keep.